both haven't played for two weeks. What are the chances of the Notts County game being on? Well, uh, obviously the Stevens game was uh, rained off last week. Uh, that's now been rearranged for April the 1st. Um, I can tell you I've just uh, just come away from the, from the training ground actually at uh, Compton and uh, a rather blustery Compton uh, too. Thankfully the, uh, the rain has uh, eased off today. And uh, I've had a, just a, a very brief chat with the uh, head groundsman Wayne Lombard um, who tells me that um, the, the pitch is actually uh, being mowed at Molyneux as, as we speak, uh, which is a very good sign. Um, uh, he told us that the, um, the, the, uh, there's no surface water or anything, the, uh, the, it's, it's dry, it drains well there anyway, um, despite the, uh, the, the recent uh, heavy rainfall. And um, there are no, uh, no concerns about, uh, about the match um, about the fixture being uh, fulfilled at this stage. So uh, all systems go for this weekend and uh, I expect the, uh, the wolves Notts County game to go ahead. Any team news at the Notts County match? Well, the, the big news this week is the return to uh, full training of the uh, of goalkeeper Carl Ikemi. Um, uh, there is a, a debate as to whether um, he'll re regain his, uh, his place. Uh, he was in superb form uh, before he got uh, injured, uh, broke a bone in his left hand uh, in the one all draw against uh, Tranmere on New Year's Day. Um, he's fully fit now, but Aaron McCary has, uh, has done well, kept uh, three clean sheets in five games, uh, only conceded twice, and um, the head coach, Kenny Jackett, uh, seemed to be uh, hinting today that McCary indeed uh, could keep his place. Um, Jackett actually said uh, um, uh, he's, uh, you know, Aaron's, Aaron's done well and um, there's no reason to, to change it. So um, if, if we're to believe uh, Kenny... Um, which we do virtually all of the time, apart from when it comes to uh, to the odd uh, the odd transfer steer. Uh, then um, I think Aaron could well could well keep his keep his place. Uh, I don't think there'll be any changes uh, outfield. Um, if, if if it ain't broke, don't don't fix it. I think is the, is a the theme that look very good playing four two three one. Um, so I, I expect the uh, the team to to be the changes to be uh, the same. There's no fresh injuries. Um, and um, the, the news really is that uh, midfielder Dave Edwards is due to return to full training next week after his uh, troublesome foot injury. And what are your thoughts on this weekend's tie against Notts County? Uh, well, Notts County coming to it in, um, uh, on, the, on the back of an excellent 3 0 win against, uh, against Coventry last week. Um, they brought in a new striker, Jimmy Spencer, who scored a cracking 30 yard goal on, on his debut. Um, so um, you know they'll be buoyed by that. They've got a bit of experience about about them, with uh, Alan Sheehan uh, playing particularly well um, at uh, centre back, uh, despite playing most of his, his career at uh, left back. And of course, there's the uh, return of uh, Callum McGregor, who um, I thought played well against Wolves and emerged as a Wolves target. Um, this is following the, the the game I think in no November at uh, Meadow Lane when Wolves uh, won one nil. Um, so he'll be uh, looking to, to perhaps prove a point at the head of a, a sort of three-man uh, attacking midfield uh, behind Spencer. Um, but prior to the, the Coventry game, they'd lost three in a row, and, and they are still, uh, I think, it's one point from um, from safety. So um, it's it's uh, it's going to be another another tricky game for Wolves, but it's one I fully expect them to take full uh, full advantage of and, and get three points uh, in this current vein of form, which. Um, uh, you know, uh, before the uh, the enforced break, they'd, they'd won four in a row, playing some excellent football, and uh, I expect that to continue.